Currently, the world is facing three simultaneous crises, biodiversity loss, climate change, and land degradation, and all three are interlinked. That's why FAO, together with IFAD and the support of our partners for sustainable development, namely the French Development Agency and the German Ministry of Agriculture, are developing a new tool called the Adaptation, Biodiversity and Carbon Mapping Tool, or ABC Map. ABC Map is a tool that aims to assist decision makers and project designers to holistically assess the environmental impact of investments in the AFALU sector, as well as national policies, and guide them towards more sustainable actions. ABC Map is grouped into three categories, adaptation, biodiversity, and carbon. Visually, it is organized into two panels, a baseline panel and a project panel. To use ABC Map, we start by identifying the project area on the map, along with the preferred resolution and discount rate which is the interest rate used to discount a stream of future cash flows to their present value. In this case, we'll identify the area of an agroforestry project in Côte d'Ivoire. After identifying the project area, we submit it for baseline assessment. After computing all the baseline indicators, we can start exploring the data to have a better understanding of the project area. The adaptation mapping tool provides climatic data such as precipitation and extreme weather, as well as geophysical data, such as elevation. This data provides a better understanding of the project area's climatic and geophysical challenges, allowing for better planning and adaptation of project activities. For example, by choosing climate resilient agricultural practices adapted to the area's specific profile. The second tool is the biodiversity tool. The biodiversity tool includes data on mean species abundance, land use and natural capital, as well as information on protected areas and key biodiversity areas. The mean species abundance indicator expresses the abundance of original species, including vegetation, relative to their abundance in an undisturbed habitat, and ranges from 1 if the ecosystem is fully intact to zero if it is fully degraded. Another feature of the biodiversity tool is protected areas and key biodiversity areas. These indicators not only map where these areas are, but also provide their land use evolution. This is important to show how effective the protection of these areas is. The biodiversity tool also includes an indicator of natural capital. This expresses in dollars the sum of all ecosystem services for the project area and is estimated from the Ecosystem Service Values database. ABC Map provides a time series analysis of the natural capital for a better understanding of how this indicator has changed over time. Finally, the carbon mapping tool provides information on the total carbon stock using the IPCC methodology and the social value of carbon. The social value of carbon is the discounted monetary value of future climate change damages due to one additional tonne of CO2 equivalent emissions. Both indicators are based on another FAO tool called NEXT. By including these indicators, ABC Map gives an overview of past emissions and aims to fight for their reduction in the future. Using all three of these tools, we get a holistic view of the project area as it currently stands. The next step on ABC Map is to define the project activities and the areas of intervention. The areas of intervention are defined on the map, and then our project activities are described on the project panel by specifying the expected outcomes. In our case, we will define areas where improvement of agroforestry practices will be implemented, as well as reforestation of key biodiversity areas and restoration of degraded forests. We start by identifying on the map the areas of intervention, called plots. For each area and type of activity, we define a plot. 
In this case, we will define three different plots. After all plots are identified on the map, we have to describe the project activities and the expected outputs. We do so by defining the expected land use changes caused by the project, choosing from a predefined combination of possibilities. In this example, we will define two plots of reforestation and another of improved agroforestry practices. For the reforestation plot, for example, we defined the land use conversion to a non-plantation managed forest with high integrity. We submit the project for analysis that, once concluded, will provide data on the impact of the activities in the project area. It is also possible to compare, using the map, the current situation and the expected project outputs regarding land use, biodiversity and carbon stock. By doing so, it is possible to have a broad idea of the project impact. Regarding biodiversity, it is possible to view the impact of the project activities on all the same indicators available in the baseline. For example, how the project will impact natural capital or mean species abundance. In our example, we can see an expected increase in both mean species abundance and natural capital, which the project will achieve by focusing on reforestation of key biodiversity areas whilst minimising the conversion of cropland to forest in order to limit loss of land dedicated for food production. With the carbon tool, it is possible to have an overview of how the project will impact carbon stock and subsequently the social value of carbon. For this example, the tool predicts an increase for both indicators, due primarily to the project's reforestation and forest restoration activities. As with the biodiversity tool, we can also map the expected impact of the project and compare it with the current situation. As demonstrated, ABC Map can assist decision makers and project designers to holistically assess the impact of projects and policies and guide them towards more environmentally sustainable investments.